Writing No One Will Ever Love You was a very significant part of becoming Heaven She. The whole process of developing this project has been extremely private and totally autonomous, which is pretty epic, um, having been part of a group and a collaborative partnership for so long. I mean, most of my creative life. So this is a song that affirmed for me that I didn't need to depend on anyone else for my personal expression and experience as an artist. I wrote the song on a very ordinary night. I'd just come home from the cinema. Uh, I felt a spark of inspiration, so I picked up my guitar and I wrote the first verse and chorus on my bed at home. But I did have a very distinct feeling that I was actually finding my sound in that moment. So two and a half years later, I'm in the studio with my producer Wayne Connolly and the band Ed Prescott, Phil Stack, Stephen Pitts, and these guys just all brought such a beautiful soul and finesse to the song, to the memory, to be having a shared experience with musicians again in the same room after all the isolation over the last few years was so meaningful and, and moving. I expected to be a lot more emotional than I was actually. I hadn't been in the studio since Tonight Alive made Underworld in 2017, but the fact that I didn't have butterflies felt like a sign to me that I was exactly where I was meant to be with who I was meant to be with. So before I had any concept of Heaven She, before I'd written a single song for the project, I was feeling incredibly frustrated. I was lost and insecure in myself as an artist at that time, and I was very impatient to discover who I was outside the world I knew. So I kept getting into conversations and sessions with friends, trying to collaborate and get inspired, but all of that just led me to discover that I had to do this on my own. It was a rite of passage that, as impossible and as intimidating as it seemed, it was necessary. I knew that the fact that it scared me meant I had to do it this way. Demoing the song in lockdown was quite a breakthrough moment for me as an artist and to realise that I actually did have the skill and the imagination to write and play or program all the parts that I needed to bring a song to life. This is the first recording I've ever been a part of where I've tracked guitars on the song and it's the first song I've ever released in my career that I'm the sole songwriter on. So it's a lot of firsts and I'm so happy that this song is leading, heaven she? No One Will Ever Love You really marks the beginning of me writing songs for myself and by myself again for the first time since I was a young teenager. And I think through this process, I've not only regained a sense of self and confidence, but I've actually claimed a lost part of myself. <laughs>